guys, here's another very awesome new feature in Marvelous Designer 5.5, and it's called Offset Multiple Internal Lines. So maybe you're familiar with the Offset as Internal Line feature from Marvelous Designer 5. Basically, you right-click on a segment line, Offset as Internal Line, let's type in the distance 50, and then you can see we have an internal line offset it at that distance. And we can reverse direction, but this won't work because it's the end here. Reverse direction, as you see, makes it go out of the pattern. Now the new feature is that we can put in the number of lines that we want to be that we want to have generated. So it doesn't have to just be one, it can be several. You can see if I say 21, we're getting 21 lines, each with the same distance between each other, which is great if you want to do things like pleating or quilting or puffed effects for jackets, etc. etc. Et you need them to have the same distance. So let's type in 31. Okay. And this I'll be using for the um, next video where I'm going to teach you how to use the auto pleating function. So to make pleats, we need first of all internal lines. And then we need something more. We need a dot where each of these internal lines is. We could take our split line tool, right click on here, anywhere actually, and then type in uniform split 50. Oh, sorry, not 50. I need here 31, 32. Because I have 31 lines, I need 32 points. And then it, it you know, goes nicely on those on those lines. Or we could do split by length and then type in there if we knew what length these individual ones were, which we do, and we know that they're 50. And then we've got points there too. But there's another way to do it, so let's not use our split line tool. Instead, let's take our transform pattern tool, sorry, our edit pattern tool, this one here, and select all the top points of these internal lines. And then holding down shift, I'm going to lift them up so that they stick out of the pattern, then right click and say extend trim and add point to pattern outline. So now it's going to trim them back to where they should be. And here where they intersect the outline, you can see that we've got a segment point added. So everywhere that these lines, internal lines are touching the outline, we've got segment points. Which is very cool and just what we need for pleating. And then in the next tutorial I'll show you how to use the auto pleating function to create knife pleats, box pleats and accordion pleats. So see you in the next tutorial!